How long should Bay Area veterans have to wait to get the medical help they need? Eight on Your Side is looking into VA wait times, this time for a local vet with heart trouble. The Vietnam veteran involved says that he was never given the chance to see a doctor outside the VA. And that is an option that the VA is required to do if they want, if these people have to wait too long for help from the VA. Our investigator Walt Buteau is joining us in studio. He has the latest on this. Keith and Jen, the calendar for this wait blew past the time frame that's supposed to trigger help from civilian health care. The Navy veteran in this case knew the law, but it didn't seem to matter. Charles Webster on a walk for some exercise is an open heart surgery survivor. This Vietnam veteran who served in the Navy remains grateful for the care he's received at the James Haley VA. But frustration set in after he went to the doctor in November for dizziness. She checked me over a little bit. She said, you need to see cardiology. Three months later, he was still waiting for an appointment. Under the Mission Act, if a veteran lives too far from a VA facility or waits longer than 28 days for specialty care or longer than 20 days for primary care, the VA is required to offer to pay a civilian doctor for health care through the community care program. Have you been offered community care from the VA? No. Webster reached out about his long wait for an appointment to a James Haley cardiologist who replied with an email that he shared with us. With regards to community care eligibility, the doctor told him he did not live far enough from the facility. As such, you do not meet eligibility based on these criteria. Did he mention the amount of time for community care? No. Webster says he told another Haley staffer his community care request was based on waiting too long not distance. She said, I don't know anything about that. I said, how could you not know anything about that? Eight on your side submitted paperwork that would allow the VA to discuss why Webster was not offered community care based on how long he waited. For previous reports, a VA spokesperson told us the wait for treatment through community care is often longer than the wait at the VA. That did nothing to ease Webster's frustration. I should have been eligible for community care. But they said the director of cardiology makes the decision, and he told me his decision had to do with the distance. Nothing to do with having to wait. In your opinion, is the VA breaking the law? Yes. It's very frustrating because I, it seems like you just keep getting ignored. You just keep getting passed around, passed around. Webster did finally get a telehealth cardiology appointment that is scheduled for tomorrow. That will mark nearly four months since his doctor suggested he should see a cardiologist. But again, that's just a telehealth right, appointment. Right. I mean, is he ever going to get a chance to see a real person about this? Well, he hopes so, And but after months of waiting, he will take this initial step. The good news for Webster is the dizziness has not returned, but he has concerns, as many others would, about this happening with more severe symptoms and still not being right. able to get that appointment within that a lot of time. No question. All right. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, if you have something you want eight on your side to investigate, call our helpline at 1-800-338-0808.